It's time now for the latest in local sports. In sports, the Wayne County High School baseball team advances to the Sweet 16 on Thursday as they sweep a doubleheader over Howard High School at Howard Bell Warren Field. Game one, a 10 0 win in five innings. Game two, an 18 0 win in just three innings. Jacks will meet LaGrange in round two, which will begin Wednesday afternoon at 4 30 at Howard Bell Warren Field. Another doubleheader day. LaGrange swept Bainbridge on Thursday. In game one, the Jackets had a no hitter pitched with three different pitchers. Senior Pitcher Gavin Mixon went the first three innings, struck out seven of the nine batters he faced. Senior Grayson Spell pitched a 1-2-3 fourth inning with a strikeout, and Isaiah Lee struck out the side in the fifth but gave up a walk. Hitting-wise, seniors Carson Shaver and Tyler Walling hit home runs in the first ball game, both in the second inning. Carson Shaver a solo shot. Tyler's was a three-run home run. Deacon Yeomans two for two with a double. Leadoff batter Nick Thomas drew three walks. Senior Palmer Lamb two for three. Gavin Mix also had an RBI double in game one at the plate. Line scores in game one. Wayne County 10 runs on 10 hits. Howard High School no runs on no hits. In game two, Wayne County, the visiting team, sent 18 batters to the plate in the first inning, scored 13 runs. Rowan Blanton, a three-run home run. Rowan also picks up the win on the mind. He goes the first two innings. Cade Lynn pitched the third. Deacon Yeomans three for four in the game. Nick Thomas two for four with a double. And on base all four times with two more walks. Line scores in game two, Wayne County 18 runs on 10 hits. Howard no runs on just three hits. Again, Wayne County on to the Sweet 16, where again they'll meet LaGrange. LaGrange is the number two seed from Region 4. The number one seed from that region is Stars Mill, the number one team in the state. Here's a look at the bracket and who advanced. LaGrange again swept Bainbridge. The score is 12-2 and 15-0. BC Cadets move on to round two. They sweep Baldwin 11-0 and 10-0. Southeast Bullock and Perry play a game three today as they split. The doubleheader on Thursday, Southeast Bullock won game 175, a lost game 2-12-1. And the Islands, the number four seed from our region at West Lawrence, they split. The Islands won game 1-4-2, but lost the nightcap 4-1. North Oconee, Stars Mill, Cherokee Bluff, Whitewater, Holy Innocence, and Lovett all swept their series yesterday. They're all into the Sweet 16 in Quad A baseball. And round two gets underway May 1st and 2nd. Then Wayne County host of the Grange Wednesday, 4-30 at Howard of Warren Field. In double-A baseball, Aplin County, Pierce County, Jeff Davis all advance. They're on to the Sweet 16 as well. Varsity Boys soccer team headed to Bainbridge today. That match time, 6.30. Second round of the state playoffs. We wish the Varsity Boys the best of luck on that ro- long road trip. Had the report on Monday's sportscast. Varsity Girls lost at home in the Sweet 16 round to LaGrange. LaGrange wins that soccer match by a score of 9-0. to zero. In golf yesterday, the Wayne County boys and girls who – both have qualified for state. Closed out the home season hosting Appling County and Coffee at the Pine Forest Country Club. The Wayne County boys finished first with a score of 156. The contributing golfers, Aiden Jones, shot a 35. Brett Malloy a 39. Raven Woodward and Trent Robinson each shot 41. The girls' team finished first with a score of 142. Contributing golfers were Kaylee Joe Martin with a 44. Katie Brown with a 46. And Kenzie Hobbs shot 52. Recreation scoreboard from last night in 8U Baseball. The Marlins 17, Blue Jays 0. The Diamondbacks beat the Bananas 8-7. And the Bees beat the Yankees 11-0. 10U Baseball, the A's and the Yankees tie 5-5. Odin beat the Braves 15-3. 12U Softball, the Lady Jackets beat the, the, Jackets beat the Lady Lux 7-5. And 12U Baseball, Phillies 5, Braves 3. Rangers 8, Yankees 2. 8U Softball, the Lady Pirates 16, Dirt Diamonds 1. Blue Jays 4, Minion 6, and 10 U Softball. The Jackets beat the Deacons 19 12. Several athletes headed to state track meet and recreation in Jefferson, Georgia today and Saturday. Kelsey Blash, Chloe Blash, Gabriella Cohen, Aubrey Woods, Jack Norwood, Carter Polk, and Tyler Barton all headed to that competition. Braves in action this weekend here on WIFFM. They host the Cleveland Guardians. Nice first pitch at 7.20. NFL draft goes as most thought it would, with a lot of quarterbacks going quickly. Caleb Williams, the number one pick, going to Chicago. Jaden Daniels from LSU headed to Washington. And North Carolina's Drake May heads to New England. Those were the top three picks. Fourth pick was Marvin Harrison going to Arizona Cardinals. Brock Bowers goes number eight to the Las Vegas Raiders. And the Falcons shocked everybody as they take Washington quarterback Matt Michael Penix Jr. with the number Eight overall pick. Again, most shocked person was Kirk Cousins, who the Falcons just signed for four years, $180 million. Instead of selecting a player who could help right away, the Falcons select Penix as their future quarterback. Again, most NFL analysts still shaking their head on the pick by the Atlanta. Rounds two and three set for this evening. Again, Wayne County, Washington, see where Trevin Wallace lands. 
played three years with the Kentucky Wildcats. Expected to go in either the late second round or early third round this evening. You know, we wish him and his family the best of luck. That's going to do it for latest in local sports.